All right, everybody, welcome. My name is Dog Warhawk, and uh, this is Bomber Crew. Sorry for the squeaky chair. I'm just trying to adjust here. And there's my phone. All right. Um, anyway, this game, Bomber Crew, kind of self-explanatory. You take control of a bomber crew. Uh, I skipped the tutorial. I already played it. I played this for a little bit, but I really want to make a ga uh, gameplay video out of this because it's a really cool game. Let's just take a quick look at our crew really quick before we head out there. Um, you can you command a crew on a uh, bombing air uh, on a bomber. Uh, we got our pilot Finley, our uh, technician or mechanic Bruce, our navigator Smith. Uh, the one in charge of comms on the radio will be Hamilton. Our two gunners are Shaw and Wingrove. And our bomber is Fleming. So there's that. <clears throat> and then, uh, I believe this is World War II era, I think. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with your plane. I'm not going to get all into that right now. Let's get this first. Oh, let's see. What? We'll go classic camo. We'll put a vampire bat on it. Why not? Um, I'll put that on there. It, excuse my... Uh, that really annoys me when there's dots on there. Okay. But I think we have... what we want. Now, right off the bat, there is an option to place a gun on the bottom, but starting this game, you can't really do... You can't really perform your operation from medium altitude, and when you're at low altitude, nobody really flies underneath you, so I don't think I need this bottom turret right now. Um, Let's go to equipment. I want to change this. Okay, we got one there. Fire extinguisher there. I'll change that to a med kit. A thousand dollars. I'll install that. The fire extinguisher. And then I'll, I'm going to spend all my money right here on this. And then I'll put... There we go. Alright. Uh, I believe that is a parachute. Anyways, let's see what our first mission is. This would be the first one after training, but I skipped it. So, let's see. Our reconnaissance has identified one of our enemy mortar facilities in Belgium. Knock it out. Uh, short duration, low risk. The, what is that, tot? I don't know, battery. Has been raining down artillery on the English coast. Our current bombs aren't able to penetrate it. But we can starve it of ammunition. Destroy the ammo dump supplying the guns. For duration. Risk. I didn't even look at this. Uh, 150 re uh, intelligence. 100 on safe return. So that's about 2,000. That's about 2,000. Okay, so these are all the same. Uh, search and rescue. One of our brave Spitfire pilots... Had to run over the canal and had to ditch. Had to ditch it in the drink. Locate the poor fellow, and drop survival gear to keep him safe until his pickup. You know what? Everything's the same. Short duration, low risk. Same uh, intelligence and money. Point of euros. I don't know. Uh, but I think the more pressing issue is to. Make sure this guy get res gets rescued. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go rescue the uh, pilot that has been downed in the... In the water. So what I'm doing right now is uh, giving these guys... Here, I'll explain this really quick. Um, so here you click on him. He's got 900 rounds and... Uh, Two reloads, basically. But if I make him reload right away, 
it'll go back in with three as you see here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make our technician oh wait no no that's fine technician doesn't need it Man, the dogs are going crazy. Oh, I left the light. Oh, well. Hopefully, that's not do that for too long. Uh, so let's take off real quick. Um, so we're taking off here. We've already got a navigate, uh, navigation point right there. there. This is how you uh, select where you're going to go, how you tag enemies, how you tag anything it's basically how you tag stuff so let's raise the gear here there we go um he doesn't really he's not really doing anything for us right now as the mechanic i'm gonna send him up here let's see yeah he's still got that so there's nobody manning our mechanic station we don't really need anybody to man our mechanic station at this point unless we lose a uh fuel tank you lose a fuel tank, we can uh, purge the one fuel tank into the other, and then uh, save us from losing good god dogs. Save us from losing a lot of fuel out of the ruptured fuel tank. Calm down, will ya? I don't know if you can hear that or not. You probably can. Uh, but anyways, let's set up our bomber. Uh, we're going to select supplies because I often forget to select what I'm going to drop. <clears throat> Now when we find the uh, the pilot, they're going to need to open the doors and then release. Um, I can't really do anything. I, uh, radio, no. These guys are all level 1, so there's nothing much I can do right now except find the pilot that's down in the water trying to survive and drop him some survival supplies. That sound is just a uh, audio. Uh, basically, you're telling telling you how far you've oh locked onto a target. So there he is. So we're gonna select the bomber. We're gonna open the doors, and right about this time, right as you find your target, yep, our enemy fighter spotted on the radar, and something broke. Great, this is not good. Tag him, tag him, tag him. We might have to do another pass by this guy. Yeah, we have to pass by him. Um, get this guy. This guy. I'm gonna have to do this quick. Zoom in. Take our mechanic off the gun. Go here. So we have no front gunner right now because... All right, we got him. Good God, dogs! I'm trying to record. Knock it off. You have to tag the enemy ships. Enemy ships. Sorry. You have to tag the enemy uh, aircraft before your gunners will fire on them. And now our objective is to clear the area of enemies, most likely to protect our downed pilot. Who's hit? Okay, nobody's hit. The electrical system is down. Pretty soon we'll get our front gunner back. Oh, there's a fire. Okay, it went out. Good. Good lord! My dogs bark at every single little thing that they hear. And I live in an apartment. In an apartment, so they bark at everything. We gotta take some recon pictures here. They low? Yeah, those guys are running low. And take the photo. Cool, we got some recon points. Have this guy reload and then reload right, right away again. Get that third reload on him. This guy needs to reload. He's only gonna reload once. Bruce, you're still good. We're just flying straight right now. Oh, we got another. Where is it? There they are, there they are. Good, we got them. 
These turrets are 303s. Colt, no time. I'm gonna turn around and face them. Get a little bit more of our turrets on them. I'll take him out, take him out. Alright. It's a bad time, but I'm gonna have him reload. Oh, our pilot! Oh, jeez, our pilot is hit bad. Um... Get up in the pilot spot. This guy is not a pilot. I just put my pilot in the, uh... Basic, I'll call this an infirmary. But we have our, our radio man piloting this aircraft right now. There's nobody on the radios or anything. And our radio man is piloting this aircraft. All right, so we're it's pretty quiet right now. Right now, let's have everybody reload. I don't know why I just put our bomber right there. No, get back. It's the only bad thing about this game that I've found is uh you misclick, you can mess yourself up greatly. I think we're on a safe return here. Just gonna have our bomber reload, and then go up into this turret, and then Bruce go back to his. I don't want our mechanic, I don't want our radio man to uh, land this aircraft, so hopefully the uh, pilot can pilot is gonna be fine here in a second yeah he's fine so right now we're gonna put Hamilton back on his radio station and put Finley back in the pilot's chair there we go all right all in all let's take a look at our aircraft we took some heavy damage right in the center some big damage Oh, on the left side, some heavy damage, and a lot of damage around that top turret. Uh, but here we go. There's the landing strip. We're going to plot that as our next uh, place we want to go. And now the next part. Oh, it's right there. Runway in sight, lowering gear. We are low on fuel. Let's click on our technician. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Oh, there's no fuel warning. I don't know why there was a fuel warning. We're good. We are good. I think it was saying we're halfway on... Oh. Knock it off. Sorry, if that leaked out for you, I got a little pop-up. So, uh, But yeah, it landed safely, even though it didn't look like it. There is the first missions and bomber crew and get out of here god i keep getting little pop-ups right now i don't know why it only happens when i try to record all right search and rescue oh we got a boatload of money totaling at 2580 and our intel totals up to 385 intel helps you unlock different things as you progress through the game the thing that I really want to get is the 50 cal turret that'll take a while to get I'll tell you what oh the name of my plane is called wishful thinking send uh send me suggestions on what I should name my aircraft and uh, if you're subscribed uh, send me your name and I'll make you one of the crew members. Alright, so we unlock some new skills. The pilot, we've got emergency dive, and this is good right now because 
we don't have any extinguishers on our engines and you can perform an emergency dive to put out fire engine fires or reach a lower altitude quickly Get a, and the technician slash mechanic got uh, get a boost of speed using a richer fuel mix Oh, nice. Oh, and we unlock some new stuff. Uh, aircraft upgrade fuselage armor mark one. Aircraft upgrade engine extinguishers mark one. So this is good as well. But we only get one. We can only use it on one engine fire. So the first engine fire, or actually whatever engine fire we choose, we can uh, put out with the extinguishers. Only one. But any other engine fires, we have to raise our altitude and then do an emergency drop to come back down. Uh, we got some olive drab, which I might put on. Let me know if you like the current camouflage. And I'll show you the olive drab in a minute. Crew gear, we got all, I'll show you all this stuff and what it does really quick before I end the video. Um, so I don't really like doing this because it wastes money in my view. Um, we can do a flight reset, which is starter flight. Yeah, we knew that. Spider flight suit, uh, basic black for suits, gloves, woolen gloves, which increase uh, temperature protection and actually increase uh, survival on land. Boots, leather boots, decreases movement, adds plus one to armor, plus one to weather protection, adds plus two to land survival and water survival. That's not bad, actually. That's some... God dang it, dogs. To add some leather boots here, but we're gonna hold off on that until hopefully you guys want to uh, see another video. We're gonna hold off on that till the next video. Um, anyways, this is this the classic camel and the olive drab are the two uh, liveries, 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 however you want to say it, that I like to use. Let me know what you guys think. And so this, I'm definitely getting this because it's engine extinguishers can be installed to put out an engine fire and this will be done by our mechanic or however you want to say a technician and so armored fuselage uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we really should armor oh we can armor both perfect more than both so we armored the cockpit we're gonna armor the tail and this we're gonna spend all our money right here I really should armor the wings. Yeah, I'm gonna armor the wings. But what that did is it added. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this backwards. Is it added 20 weight to the total uh, aircraft weight? And we only have 2,000. We can't go above 2,000 uh, total weight, or it's gonna mess us up. But it so. It added 20 pounds to our total weight, and it added 150, of course going backwards because I'm selecting on the, the other, the previous selection, so it's going to say minus. And it added 150 armor to the wings, the, the nose, and the tail. Dang, my dogs won't be quiet when I want to make a video. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. And uh, you guys, uh, let me know what you think. If you want to be part of the crew, uh, you know, comment the names that I should make my crew members. Just to give you a preview of what's coming next, we've got a sub hunt over here. Allied shipping has been being harassed by these U-boats in the North Sea. You've been tasked with hunting them down, sinking the blighters. Now this blue one means it's uh, medium risk, and there's an enemy ace in the area. Not good. But uh, our reconnaissance has identified one of the enemy mortar facilities. Okay. If I'd have done that first, there wouldn't have been an ace. All right. And then the top battery ammo dumps. Uh, yes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, let me know. Give it a like if you so choose. Uh, that'll also let me know if you want to see more of these. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.